Hey everybody, let's talk about scene six, and this is reflections. So this is all about the HDRI and the reflections. So if you look at this glass, one thing about using HDRIs is a lot of times they'll have a floor plane and then your reflections will get this kind of cut off. Well, what we've done with this HDRI is we've made it completely seamless. So if we uncheck the background, we can see our HDRI. And if we play around with it, you can see that no matter which way we spin it, it's completely seamless. And we're gonna get these really nice reflections from the top all the way down to the bottom. And it's just a really, really nice HDRI. So besides the HDRI, another thing we've done is figure out a way to be able to change the hue and saturation of that HDRI. So if you wanna play around with the different coloration of this scene, you can do that very easily with this hue shifting and the saturation and the gamma. And that's actually not as easy as you would think in Octane, but we found a way to be able to color everything very easily and still be able to rotate it. So let's talk about the last feature of this HDRI, and that is the tense feature. And this is a pretty cool concept. It's to sort of art direct your HDRI in a really cool way. So if we turn off the background, all these little knots are going to basically mask where you're gonna have the HDRI show up. So if we make a black knot right here, everything is gonna go dark. But if we highlight these two and just kind of move them around, you'll see that we're kind of masking what parts of the HDRI are going to be where. So just by adding a few tents here, you're able to kind of break up the pattern of that HDRI and add a few little blotches here and there or art direct away some pieces that you don't like. And it's just a really nice way to add some subtle variation. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that this is a great scene if you want to generate caustics. So generally it's pretty hard to do that with an HDRI. You usually need a source light that's pretty bright. Uh, but the way that we set up this HDRI with the kind of the bright patches, if we add a couple knots here and just block out part of it, you can see on the ground here, we're generating some really beautiful caustics. So just another thing to be aware of with this scene.